it's been a hot minute since I picked up this camera, but here I am. It's the end of March. <laughs> okay, let's just assume that I put out one vlog a month at this point because I just... What is consistency? Just kidding. No, I need to be consistent. But anyway, it is Saturday, March 26th, and we are on our way to track down a lost UPS package. Well, I guess it's not lost because it is now found, but story time. So yesterday I was expecting a Skims package to come in that I had been waiting all week to arrive. It's the Skims swimwear collection. And I don't know if you guys are familiar, but she came out with this chocolate brown swimwear color line that's just everything. So of course I had to get my hands on it and I ordered just about everything because, you know, Skims sells out. So yeah, I've been waiting all week for it to come in and I came home Friday expecting my package to be there and lo and behold, there was nowhere to be found. So I log in to my UPS thing to see like what had happened and tell me why this thing was delivered to the wrong address on the opposite side of town. <laughs> How does that even happen? So I'm just there and I'm like, what the f do I do? Long story short, I end up calling UPS and just I end up doing this whole claim thing. So a few hours pass and I ended up calling them. But they reached out to somebody locally that was able to help me out and contact a driver to go by to see if this package was there. So UPS ended up attempting two times, but within that time frame of me waiting, I ended up driving to this person's house, which probably wasn't the safest thing to do, but I was desperate because my skim stuff is sold out and there's like a lot of things in that package they might be selling for all i know so <laughs> it was like 7 30 and we drove all the way to the opposite side of town my plan was to leave a note so they at least had a contact number in case i could arrange something with them so i wrote them this really nice note that i stuck on their door and of course right as we're pulling into the neighborhood UPS calls me and they're like hey we were able to speak to the people through the ring app and they do have your package so we're gonna try to go again and then here I am I'm like well I'm actually in front of their house <laughs> so <laughs> the guy's like okay I'm like okay uh, so I still go ring the doorbell and they also answer to me and thankfully they're a really nice couple I think they're probably older I don't know but they confirmed that they had the package inside the house and that they weren't home, had also spoken to UPS. So I told them I was gonna leave my note there and later last night around 11, I think the wife ended up texting me. She didn't even give me her name, but she said my husband, so I think it's the wife. Anyway, so she ended up texting me and was like, yeah, we have it. Um, and they set something up with me, which is where I'm on my way to now. And I'm gonna be able to pick up my package. I didn't wanna leave it in UPS's hands to try and track down this package because they already one. yeah <laughs> so that's that's my situation right now we're on the way to the other side of town to grab this package and then right after we actually have a gender reveal that we're going to i've never been to one so i'm kind of excited um and that's at one so that is where i am at right now i'm gonna try to vlog i miss vlogging on my camera i've been doing a lot of mini tiktok vlogs that's tiktok vlogs that's been my thing lately and it's also a lot easier to record 15 second clips and just kind of edit it's kind of fun and i never thought i'd be the type of person to be stuck on tiktok but here i am you know another social media ruling my life but it's fine tiktok plug right now if you guys haven't seen my tiktok go ahead and check it out okay guys i secured the bag got my skim stuff here it is she did open it the lady did open it um because her address was they stuck her address on the label that my address is on also i don't i don't understand anyway and we met the couple they're an older couple the lady was telling us how she always orders packages uh from ups and stuff or not from ups but she always orders packages um, for kids clothes so she probably is they're probably grandparents super sweet couple and yeah she gave me my package and ironically they were thinking about driving to our place too but when she looked at my address she saw that i was like hella far which which we are complete opposite sides of town like i'm on the southwest and she's on the southeast so super far but 
I got my package. I'm just gonna make sure everything's in here. It should be. As you guys can see, there's a lot of stuff in here, so. And they're all brown. There's always crazy things happening around the world left and right, but you know, it's so humbling to know that there still are good people out there and not everyone whose package your package get, gets delivered to is a serial killer, you know? I'm just saying, it's not like those thoughts went through my mind, but I'm just saying, mm -hmm. just kidding, it's, it did, it did. I just don't know, yeah. but they weren't. They were a really nice couple mm -hmm. and I'm so thankful that they, you know, we're real about it. Decent human beings. Decent, yeah, decent human beings. Love that for us. Getting alcohol for the gender, <laughs> for the gender reveal. Yeah. Look how pretty these are. So cute. Look what we just found. Hell yeah, Topo Chico. You guys rock all our close friends and family, so. Oh my god, is it a boy or a girl? That's it, Richard! I'm kidding! Can't wait to see the pink. Don't miss that perfect. Alright, I need a call. Three, two. Oh! <laughs> ready and we're getting kind of sidetracked but we're gonna start grabbing what's on our list okay so we're done with Smith's and I don't know why but when we go grocery shopping we literally just chill we take our sweet ass time and I don't know if it's like an adult thing but we be staying in grocery stores for far too long oh the sun anyway uh, a new Kirby game released today and in front of some of the targets that have the little ball things in front of the store They dress them up like little Kirby's so we're gonna go check one out because there's a target um, On the way home that has little Kirby's and they're so cute. I think those things those little balls are called bowlers I would call them boulders or like wrecking balls Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Look I Little Kirby's are so cute. So, you know how people say that people never leave Target with what they went in for? So, we went in to go take a look at the new Kirby game and little Kirby balls, but we left with this. Our third one. Our third one. But it's the only LED one that we've been waiting to be back in stock and also the new lego star wars game comes out in a week so i'll be selling my other two finally and be using this one and it's also white so it's gonna match my house a lot better i'm so excited look it's white love that my other toxic habit not finishing my drinks I just made a little snack, just, just toast and this butter that we got from Smith's. It looked really good. It's a churned butter and we got the blueberry honey butter flavor. And we're just gonna have some of this just to hold us over until the chicken that we're making for dinner is ready to grill. Brock's making the sauce, the marinade right now. We're making chipotle bowls. So I'll show you guys what that looks like in a little bit. So we have the chicken marinating in the sauce that we made and we are putting them in these airtight containers. 30 minutes. 30 minutes to an hour. Excuse me. So we put it on marinade mode. Our chicken is done and we're just gonna chop it up really quick. We also got some lime rice that is finished and I chopped up the lettuce. So we're just gonna be putting all of this together to make our chipotle bowls for dinner. 